What's up, y'all? I got a banger from Huxon. Let's get straight into it. No, don't, don't. Oh my god, that make me so mad. Why? That make me so Why? mad. Because this is all you do. It's not. It's it's all I have. <laughs> but the whole gaming thing. <sighs> What's the problem? Jack I think it's because women see us happy and they don't like it. They're like. Ah. He looks comfortable, he looks happy, and the thing is, when we play video games with our boys, we've had the same group of friends since we was in high school. Most of the time, ladies, you don't. Y'all don't have the same group of friends that y'all have had since you were teenagers, but us as men, we do. I got lifelong friends, guys I've known since middle school that I play video games with. It has this big problem, too. It, it, because It's just lazy. It feels, un like, unless you're getting paid, and there's a line, right? So, like so we can't do anything unless we're getting paid? What about when you guys watch Real Housewives? Or Hollywood, you know, something extra. What about keeping up with the Kardashians? You're not getting paid to, to do that. You're not getting paid to scroll Instagram. What are you talking about? It's cool if you want to do it every so often. But to me, I'm like, go educate. Like, go do something productive. But what is the problem? Yeah, for real. Like, and why you do know we always have to be productive? See, this is, this is my whole thing. It's like, women just hate to see men comfortable. They hate to see us having a good time. They see us having a good time, they're like, you need to be doing something. No, we need to be chilling and playing the game. Oh, Jacqueline has a big problem with it, too. Whenever she hears the PlayStation start up, like, I gotta there hear the go. huffing and puffing. Yeah. But if, we were to, if I were to just have TV on, you'd be on TikTok as it is, not because paying it's, attention. It's not that so why does it bother you? Because, it, because it's not the distraction of me being on TikTok and us watching TV. It's what you could be doing with that time. There it is, and that's what I knew it. It's I knew what it. you could. You, wanna, you women want to task us <laughs> no, so no, no, bad no, 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 no. that you're so pissed no, no, that we're taking no, time no, from doing something. No. Wait a minute, you're enjoying things? You have time to do this but video see, game? Here's the thing. Oh, here's all the things you could be doing. here's the thing. Facts. You're enjoying it, but you could also be planning something nice for us. You know, like... <laughs> Well, I do know some so men where it's just like you are paying attention on that game, talking to them uh, people, arguing with them people, and you could be in my face. It is some some men that need to give their woman uh, more attention, but it's just like the game is it just irritates me. But men are stressed out. They come I home, they the want to play the game. It's freedom. But why as a grown man do you want to come home and play with a controller? I you don't control. play video. You don't. You know what? I'm <laughs> mad. Now. The thing is, but these women come home and play with their phone. What are you talking about? Just because the apparatus is a little bit differently. I, once again, I just think women want to task us. To that, to that guy's point, you just want to task us. You see us being comfortable, see us doing nothing. And this is a concept that women cannot understand. Women cannot understand that men can do nothing. This is how men and women are so much different. Women's minds are like a ball of wire. Everything's connected. Breakfast is connected to what happened on the way there, to what happened yesterday, to what happened six months ago. This is why I say, get your girl a golden plunger because she's really good at bringing up old shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get them all a golden plunger. But women's minds are like a ball of wire. As men, our minds are like boxes. You want to talk about one thing? You want to talk about sports? We pull out the sports box. We yap about sports. Then we put that sports box up. And then we go talk about something else. We talk about video games. Then we talk about clothes. Or then we talk about, you know, we talk about hockey. We talk about baseball. Everything has its own box. But it's, with women, everything's intertwined and connected. We're not like that. But there's one box in particular that men have that women can't, they can't even fathom that this box even exists. It's called the nothing box. It's nothing. We sit in that box and do nothing. We could watch paint dry and be happy with it. <laughs> We just sit there and do nothing. Women cannot stand that because they can't understand the concept of doing nothing. They feel like they always need to be busy doing something. Set. A man, this is like his only time of like having complete freedom and something to escape reality for 20 minutes and you're trying to you take it away from You're not doing all that with that video game. Yeah, you are. You get to you enter escape reality. Yeah. Well, they got niggas making niggas on the game. <laughs> avatars. Like, nigga, what you want to look like? <laughs> Who the <laughs> is this? No, uh, no, the avatar. Who the f is that? Like, you know what I'm saying? They, just see, they see the enjoyment and they can't stand it. They're like, "How dare you be happy outside of me and you? It's selfish." Yeah. What you got going on here? Bro, if your girl will not let you play video games, she's a narcissist straight up because she wants all the attention on her.
<laughs> Ladies, do me a favor. Let your man play video games. Because a lot of y'all be hating for no reason. And mm -hmm. y'all taking it way too serious than you actually need to. Let me put it in perspective for you, right? You love makeup. As a little girl, you grew up playing with the Barbie dream houses and the Corvettes and all of that. So you kind of grow up and you do the same thing. You decorate your house. You do the Barbie decoration. You like to wear makeup, jewelry, paint your nails. There's a lot of different trinkets that nails. you can play with, right? It keeps you in that young mindset. It lets you tap into the child that's inside of you that never went anywhere. Mm. And you don't let your man tap into his own child as if we're not supposed to have one and you are. If you want your man to show his happiness and some of that childlike quality and energy inside of him, let him play his game. I Thanks. let him play his game. Let him be a kid. I do. So if he tells any of you guys that game with him that are watching, yeah. he's lying. I let him play his game. <laughs> she, she let him play. She let him play. <laughs> I let him play. You know, honestly, though, I get... See, that's what I don't get. She lets him play. Shouldn't be letting him play. We don't let you guys do makeup. You just do makeup. Like, that's, that's the whole difference. I let him play. Like, the controlling, narcissistic side of it. He's a busy guy. When I do see him on his game, I'm like, it makes me happy. I really do care about, like, your mind. And yeah. so when I know you're playing your games, I'm like, I love it. Here's the deal. If your dude ain't taking care of his business, though... Like, if he's just out here just dirty, ain't wash his ass, you know, he's he's missing work, he's going, to, he's going, to, he's not sleeping. I'm not talking about those situations, but yeah. like, he's a grown ass man, he's providing, he's not doing nothing wrong. Let him have his little break. Let him play a game. Facts. Your man will be happy. <laughs> just just make happy. Sure, just give him a limit, ladies. <laughs> just now, in my experiences, and I'm very observant, so. You know, back in the days when I was gaming like crazy, you know what I'm saying? What I've noticed is that some of the women, you could tell me if this has happened to you or maybe you experienced it, where your bro or you has somebody in the background, whether his girl or your girl, is going berserk in the background of him playing a video game or whatever, right? But then maybe like a couple days later or whatever, the bros in the chat will start talking about his girl, right? And she will stop nagging and instead jump into the conversation, mm -hmm. right? Now she's all loud in the background trying to talk to them. Well, these, these women, once again, they just want to be the center of attention. They want to be included. And when they're not included, they get mad. And it's just it's the childish nature of it all. Like they want all attention on them. But once again, ladies, this is our escape. We don't really need you there. And get in the club. <laughs> What's one thing that just makes you extremely upset and you can't explain why? Honestly, this is probably going to sound really bad, but it's when my boyfriend hangs out with his friends. That is toxic, bro. <laughs> when he hangs out with his friends, that makes you mad? God. I think one reason is definitely because I'm jealous of him. That's because exactly he's is. had the same amazing group of friends since he was five years old. And I've never had a consistent group of friends ever. And I know that it's- Because most of you ladies are fake. Shots fired! Shots fired! This is right. Do y'all remember in high school how girls would have different best friends every single week? Don't you think that's a little suspicious? New friends every week, new best friends. This is why girls can't be friends for a while because they're catty. Normal for friends to change as you grow up. But his friends have always been the same, and I kind of wish that I had that because even all through high school, I was one of those people who was in every single group and activity so i was friends with everybody but i never hung out with anybody i am an adult video games are for children wow and so me <laughs> wait a minute you're an adult but you put on makeup and play pretend that's not it sounds like what an adult would do Dating? I would rather you have a hobby that's not video games. Something that enlightens you. You don't think video games do that at all? I mean, I ain't gonna hold you. My favorite video game growing up, it was Frogger. So I'm just helping a frog cross that the street. That track. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no, all arguments invalid. <laughs> Frogger? Oh, of one. all the Wait, amazing I games. I got I got another Frogger. one. Frogger's I got another trash. One. Grand Theft Auto. GTA is you one of your favorite on Grand, Grand Theft Auto. Before you decided to keep this going as a grown man. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which I have made very, Wait. very lucrative for myself. And, and by the way, have you all, were you always a gamer? You, I grew up playing games like Final Fantasy VII. You don't know it. Kingdom Hearts II. You don't know it. Uh -huh. Mega Man X, which... I went and got him iced out here. You don't know it. Mortal Kombat. Uh-huh. Still Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Name one Mortal Kombat character. Um, she don't know. Anybody else just absolutely hates video games? Wait, wait, wait. Is this what the girl with the lip injections telling us about? Come on now. And when their boyfriend plays video games, 
Because I feel like I'm a bad girlfriend. Your stuff is lopsided. But I just cannot stand it. And I don't know what to do. Like, I tried multiple strategies of... How about you just shut up? Shots fired! Shots fired! Stop giving him a hard time. But just let him be. You see he enjoys it, so let him enjoy it. Discouraging that habit and I'm really trying to be more accepting and think about why does it trigger me so much and how can I reflect on this shit. But the truth is that it doesn't trigger me because he doesn't have time for me or because he doesn't put attention on me. I don't think so. I think what triggers me is the priorities. Like, why is playing with your friend your priority, you know? It's not even like, oh, you need to spend time with me. This is so horrible. But Women can't even understand that spending time with your friends is a priority. This is horrible. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan and Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. But, I don't know. I just really hope there is somebody who can relate with me. <laughs> I feel like, like most women do. Please relate because I feel like the world's girlfriend ever sometimes. Just um, ranting all the time about it and being a bitch because I don't know how to handle it better. You shouldn't have to I handle just it. Just let him do his thing. Feel like I'm working on my dreams all the time. I'm so like ambitious and hardworking and I don't need anyone to praise me or whatever. I just want to feel like I'm not alone on it. in it. You know what I mean? Like I want to cook nice dinner, eat healthy, exercise, run my business, have friends and social life, be a good girlfriend, but I just don't feel the support, like, why don't you just cook dinner one day, because you play with your fucking friend. I don't know if this is a reflection of me being a bad person, or if it's really just like... Let me know in the comments, is it a reflection of her being a bad person? Let me know what you guys think. Not a me problem. Like, if you have Well, I'm sorry, but if it's the way you feel and it's your feelings, it's your problem. Your feelings are your problem, always. What the fuck do you do? My boyfriend and I have been dating for almost four years now and living together for almost two. We really love each other and I think both hope to move on to marriage and kids someday. But the problem is he plays video games every day. If it was up to him, he would be gaming nonstop morning to night. There we go. This is a huge red flag and a turnoff for me and has caused most of our major fights. Wow. I'm worried that it seems like he doesn't have any other interests or desires to live life outside of gaming and watching sports. I find it hard to imagine my life with children married to a man that just wants to stay inside every day and game. We've talked about this issue and he promises that he will change, but even when we go out to dinner or on a quick walk, it seems like he's just rushing to get through it to get back to gaming. This is such a turnoff and a problem for me. Help. Break up. One thing that I'm thinking of is talk about your schedules. What are your schedules like? Your how how like what's your work schedule, at home schedule, and figure out a time where it's like this time is slotted specifically for us, at least during the week. I mean, this would be a deal breaker for me if I was with someone who only spent their time playing video games or watching sports, and like if this was all consuming to them, where this was all that they could think about. They weren't helping me do things. They didn't want to make plans on the weekends, get out of the house, do other things, because that's important to me is to go out, do activities and other things together. This would be a deal breaker for me. What am I about I hate to the tell vocal fry. This would be a deal breaker for me. I mean, yeah, be an adult. Talk about it. It's a little difficult to open up about. It makes me very vulnerable because it's a bit of a sensitive topic. And to others, it might not be sensitive at all. So you might be like, why? So please don't shame me or be rude. 
I love that preface. So I get triggered when my partner plays video games, and here's why. Reason number one I think this triggers me is because two of my past relationships have been with boyfriends that spent a majority of their free time playing video games. This is why I say everything that happens in your life is your fault. You picked these past two men that play a lot of video games. You have a problem with it. Stupid. So maybe you should change the way you're vetting these men. Just, just, I mean, I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger here. I'm just saying, do you guys agree? Should she change the way she's vetting these men or should she just keep doing the same thing she's doing and complain about it? One of them, for example, I would be over hanging out with him and he would just be playing video games for hours and I would be sitting there so bored just watching him play for seriously like four to five hours, maybe more. What a king. Another one of them, I didn't really have to watch him play much because he was always playing at his house when I wasn't there, but I was working all the time to try to build up a savings and he did not have a job and lived with his parents and would just... So you... <laughs> so you go for bums. Just say that. <laughs> don't, don't say that it triggers you. You go for bums. Play video games nonstop. So I kind of felt like I'm working for my future and which I hope is our future and like working so he hard. He lives with his parents. What are you talking about? He, he doesn't even have a job. You're not working at all because you're just playing video games. And then he answered with, I could become a professional video game player and make a ton of money. And at the time I was just like, it's very difficult. This is not realistic at all. He's never become a professional video game. I was about to say, who is he, Ninja? <laughs> be funny if he was like Kai Sanat or Ninja or somebody like that. In player, I know there are many. Second reason I think it triggers me is the sound, the violence. Um, I'm probably neurodivergent. I've never been diagnosed with ADHD, but my mom has, the my little Olympics. brother has. You know what I just really hate about men is that they can go to a golf course by themselves, have no problem joining a group of guys and playing with them for 18 holes. And then all of a sudden it's like their best friend mm -hmm. uh, and they hang out with them every weekend. And I just, the audacity of men to be able to do that is ridiculous. Because we're not I catty, we're not jealous. We're, men men understand the hardships that other men have to go through, and we're just more genuine with each other. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree? I feel like that's why it's so easy as men we can make friends. Like, I can move to a city and have new friends in two months, whereas, like, women, it would take them two years to get a new friend. Uh, because girls, just want not a shot. Fun. Not a mm -hmm. shot that that would happen. I don't even know what kind of activity uh, that would be allowed in for girls. But if you guys do know of one specifically in salt lake city let a girl know because she needs like friends mormon stuff you me. know for these women that's why that's why i don't get it's like these men just want to be happy they want to do their thing they want to play video games why is it such a big deal for guys to play video games somebody want to carry it free wait free go to your place let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Do you guys play video games? I feel like a lot of us guys do. I have for very many years, probably since I was at the age of like eight or nine, back in the days of playing Tekken, Mortal Kombat, N64, Super Mario, then it graduated to Halo, and then I've been playing COD for a while. I took a break in college just because I was doing college, but we still played Halo every once in a while in college. Um, but you know, Red Dead Redemption 2, drop, drop your favorite video game in the chat. Let me know what, what's your favorite game of all time. I'd probably say my favorite game of all time, even though it's not like the probably the craziest game ever, but was Red Dead Revolver. I started playing that game at a pretty tough time in my life. Like my parents were split up. We had moved in with my grandparents. I had plopped down a TV and I was just sitting there playing that game. And I felt like such a badass just playing that game and shooting and doing the slow-mo. And like, it had such a good storyline. It had such a good storyline that later on in life when they dropped RDR2, I bought it and just had to beat it. Like I was like, I have no choice. I have to play this game. I have to beat this game. But Red Dead Revolver is probably my favorite game. Um, but women just don't understand that us men, we can get so much peace from just playing a simple video game. 
I play maybe four to five hours a week. I'm playing Dead Island 2 right now, and then I play COD with the boys all the time. Um, but like, we just, I get a lot of peace out of, out of playing that stuff. All right, so we're gonna add a new section to these videos where we jump into the suggestions, and um, we're gonna watch some clips from what you guys have sent over just yep, to see. Oops, I clicked on an ad for Cotton Patch. Um, cotton Patches. Good Lord. Okay, whatever. Um, let's see if I can't pull this up. So we're going to basically pull these up and react to them. And it's going to be the things that you guys have put into the uh, Discord. So let's see if I can. Five, what is this? Five major issues that keep high value men from dating single moms. Ooh, this should be good. Let's review some of the single mom issues. Ooh, okay. And it's a woman. I, li I like it when women are based. I like that. This is from Anna Jorgensen. Let's review some of the single mom issues that keep high value men away. Okay. One, divided attention. I believe If that. she's worth her weight in salt, a mom prioritizes her dependent kids. However, that can be a deal breaker for high value men because for him, it means limited time and attention for the relationship. Facts. Single moms must realize some high value men prefer a more flexible lifestyle without the added obligations of parenting someone else's children. We don't want to parent your kids. We want your effort and your time and your energy on us, especially if I'm providing all the things that you want. I want that energy, baby. I want more than just that energy. You heard me? <laughs> Two unruly kids kids with no discipline we've all heard the wee squealers in the grocery store some of us have even whispered taser the fact is bratty kids are a turnoff even if they're your huge or turnoff. however they can get or absent to over 30 kids even the sweetest child can require extra energy yeah especially kids, these kids that's, that's tough time constraints single moms have packed schedules i see so many single moms talk about like you gotta have you gotta uh, pay for my child care if you want if you want to go out with me. Like what? You want me to pay for a babysitter? <laughs> You're out of your mind. <laughs> to parenting and work, and if she's not working and financially independent, there are other considerations. Five limited social life. Being a single parent often means a limited social life or socializing with other parents and their children. Gone are the carefree days of hopping out to the pub with friends or catching a concert last minute. Your yeah, you can't do nothing last minute with these single moms. That's why a lot of, like, it's just, it's pure headache a lot of times for, for single moms. You can't parent their kids. You can't help them really do much. Um, so it's this chick, uh, what's, her, what's her name? The only, your wing woman. She's cool. I like her. Who put that in there? That is from uh, Ta American or Ta American. Okay, appreciate you, brother. There's another one here. Um, let's see if we can't just copy paste this. This is from who's this from? Who's this? S. Period. 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 You guys are killing me with these Discord names. I'm really trying to shout y'all out, but I can't even. Can't even. So. What is this? Modern females don't deserve to be approached by men. Oh God, this is a long one. This is a long one, gents. What, what is this lady talking about? There has been a conversation lately about women not being approached as much and them feeling a way about it. And I just wanted to give a little bit of my thoughts. So for one, when it comes to being approached, if you want to be approached, you need to be approachable at all times. And I feel like a lot of our women don't realize how Based. unapproachable we come off and how unapproachable we are. To me, if you're walking around all day, every day, not smiling, not looking friendly, who wants to approach you? Um, who wants to approach point. anyone that doesn't look approachable, doesn't look friendly, doesn't look complimentary? Who would do that? Um, I wouldn't. And that goes with anything. Um, even if you want to ask someone a question, let's say you're in a store and you're looking for an item. If the person doesn't look like they want to be bothered, you kind of have like a, a feeling in your chest, in your stomach, where you kind of feel kind of burdened to ask. And a lot of times you'll just deflect and try to find it on your own because that person looks so unapproachable. It's the same thing with us women. And the thing is too, like with being approached, and I was, I was telling a girlfriend of mine this the other day um, about the importance of looking your best at all times. I go out, I see people in the store, you know, I get it. I'm not saying that we're always gonna look like a 10, but you should try your best too at all times. I don't care if you're just going on a quick store run, you're going to check the mail, you should always look your best and like you're ready to be approached and always look like your best self and not be a reflection of what you're going through. Even if you're having a hard day, you should still smile. You should still I mean, I agree. She's that's very, very based. I like her. <laughs> Very based. I like her. I just don't have time to listen to all of it. Um, but yeah, dude. You got, well, first of all, guys, we need to learn how to approach women. I think everything should be very conversational, very in the moment. Pickup lines typically don't work, at least in my experience. It's all about making a comment that is pertinent to the situation that you're in. But to her point, like a lot of these ladies aren't even approachable 
And the thing is, is women are marketers and men are salesmen. Ladies, you want men to approach you. You need to be in an area where men can comfortably. You need to market that. Smile. I don't, I don't see modern women smiling no more. You know who I see smiling? The old ladies. I was going to like, where was I going? I think I was going to Target or something with Cass or Home Depot with Cass. And this old lady was wheeling out some stuff and she was just, she had such a big grin on her face. I was like, man, I like that. I like that. She was an old lady, but I'm like, that that level of like elegance has been lost through the modernization of dating. Like modern women don't do that anymore. They're such on a pedestal that, pedestal that they think men should bow at their feet and beg for their attention. And that's why so many of them are alone and single and their expectations are so high. And what sucks is the older they get, the higher their expectations get too. It's like, golly, you're getting older. Your value is actually going down. So your expectations should flip. Your expectations should have been really high when you were getting sprinted through by Chad's. She's a runner. She's a track star. But it should be really low now that you have a high body count. Or when you're a... You're a single mom. But usually that's not the case. The opposite is true. They get older. They get a bigger head. They have more expectations for men. When... It's not really the case. Dudes aren't, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat. Are you guys really out there looking for single moms to date? I'd almost bet you it's a no, Scotty. It's a no. We're not really going out there. Like it's just telling us that you've made bad decisions. You have a lot of baggage, a lot of trauma more than likely. Cause the guy that you wanted to be with and gave him the highest honor ever, which was your womb. You ain't even with him. This is why I say, ladies, you don't do better than your baby daddy. So you think your baby daddy wouldn't, well, I hate to say it, but I think that's, you peaked out. <laughs> you maxed out your levels. It's a wrap. That's where you're at now. It's really hard to find a high value man that's willing to say, you know what? I want to play another man's safe game and I want to raise his kids. All I got to say is you better have the full package. You better have the kooka snapped, turtled, snapping turtled. You better have your body mad shape you better be coke bottle bodied you better be straight up fit your attitude you better be fit and or you better be feminine submissive cooperative you better be real real feminine with that because if not a dude's gonna be like i'm not trying to argue with you you better be open you better look to please your man and here's here's some advice that a lot of single moms would hate to hear ladies if you're a single mom and you want to go out there and get your get a man you got to stop putting your kid first you got to put your man first that's the way god intended and i ain't even super religious but it's god then men then women ladies if you're not willing to put your man first why should he put you first why should he come in here and raise another man's kids and you won't even put him first he's always going to come up second to this kid that he ain't got nothing to do with not an asset to him at all a pure liability but yeah he's got to come out the woodwork provide for you protect you take on another man's kid and you're going to put him second and he's got to put you first. It sounds like a bad deal. Why would any guy with any common sense, any money, any momentum in his career want to put up with that? Personally, I wouldn't, but I looked out with Cass. She ain't got no kids. She ain't never been married. She's been in a few relationships, nothing crazy, but she hadn't had a ton of trauma by the time I met her. A lot of girls nowadays in their thirties, boy, howdy. <laughs> So much trauma. And the thing is, these ladies make the men of their present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of their past. That's why there's no future for another man. Mic drop. It sucks. Because I want to see people happy. I think we thrive off of meaningful relationships, but a lot of the times these women have burned so many bridges that they try to Frankenstein a man, and then by the time they get to an age where they're ready to settle down, it's all used goods. It's all used up. Why would I want that? Why would any guy in his right mind want to deal with that? Loki, go to your place. Lay down. Did you have a good time today? Did you have fun? Was that carrot good? You like that carrot, huh? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality, selling like absolute hotcakes. Thank you, guys. We sold over 50 copies. It's only a $10 ebook, um, but it makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you enjoy today's episode? Did you, buddy? You did? I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.